Welcome back to Hydrogen Fuel News. I'm your host, Jake Martin, here with the top 10 most amazing hydrogen breakthroughs in 2022. But first, a little hydrogen energy trivia. Did you know that Australia has the most green hydrogen plants in the world? As of 2022, there were 96 facilities in the country. And while China is the largest producer of hydrogen at about 33 million tons per year, let's not overlook Texas announcing the soon to be largest green hydrogen plant in the world. Go big, go Texas. And according to a top global consulting firm, the market growth for hydrogen will be enormous. So let's dig in with our top 10 cool things that happen in hydrogen. First up in on our 10 top categories is this humanitarian winner. Hydrofuel Canada and Lumos Laboratories joined forces back in July to produce green hydrogen from human and animal wastes. While this might not make for the best table talk, it is extremely interesting how these companies are going to help with serious health and green energy issues faced by third world economies. The World Health Organization estimates that nearly 3 billion people lack access to improved sanitary facilities with the lowest coverage in Sub-Saharan Africa, 37%, Southern Asia, 38%, and Eastern Asia, 45%. Lumos estimated that the value of the energy that can be captured using this process will enable them to pay residents a small incentive fee for using its waste capture technology, further enabling local economic development. How genius is that? Number nine in the category of what's best for the earth. What if we could revalue our trash? Well, in Johannesburg, South Africa, a new company is looking to do just that. Boson Energy has developed a way for producing clean hydrogen from readily available waste materials, which would otherwise go into landfills or else be burned in incinerators. The strategy makes production of this essential fuel, hydrogen, locally possible with affordable costs by using what they call non-recyclable garbage. Using waste to produce hydrogen in a thermochemical recycling process based on gasification is way more efficient than trash incineration. Plus, this type of hydrogen production creates less stress on the grid, diverts waste from landfills and replaces fossil fuels. Oh, and what do they do with any leftovers from the process? It gets melted into usable glass material to see another day. As the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. We all love weird, right? Here's our top weird science winner Chemvita Factory has developed a process to generate gold hydrogen from depleted and abandoned oil wells using naturally occurring microorganisms. The company's proprietary microbes are able to consume the carbon in gas or petroleum, while also producing up 2050 tons of gold hydrogen per field. Wow, that must feel better. And what is gold hydrogen? The company states, it's a novel source of carbon-neutral hydrogen produced from depleted oil reservoirs. Their researchers have been able to increase the performance of the microbes by six and a half times their natural rate, enough to produce hydrogen at a cost of $1 per kilogram. Those are some helpful little guys. Best news for hydrogen investors, Goldman Sachs, has said that hydrogen production will play an important role in global decarbonization efforts and could develop into a market with values greater than one trillion annually. It's a very powerful molecule. We can use it for heavy transport, heating, and we can use it for heavy industry, said Commodity Equity Business Unit Leader, Michel Delavigne. He went on to argue that the most important factor is to produce it without CO2 emissions. And once we have it, I think we have a solution that could become, one day, at least 15% of the global energy markets, which means it will be over a trillion dollar market per annum. Here we are at best concept idea, the A2 Clipper. Welcome to the future of transportation. The A2 Clipper, a hydrogen airship made by a startup in California, is hoping to revolutionize long-distance transport needs. 
When you think of an airship, the olden days come to mind. But this isn't your average blimp. It's powered entirely by clean hydrogen fuel and has the potential to revolutionize our supply chain. These hydrogen vessels are expected to reach about 175 miles per hour, which is not as fast as a plane, but that is about 10 times faster than a marine ship. Plus, the cargo volume will be about 8 to 10 times that of an air freighter and will be able to carry 340,000 pounds of cargo across 6,000 miles. Keep an eye out for more on this amazing flying powerhouse. Let's take a look at how hydrogen is changing the second biggest industry polluter, the transport industry. This major sector is responsible for about 8.43 billion tons greenhouse gas emissions per year. We're talking about air, rail, water, and truck transportation. How is hydrogen changing the second biggest polluter industry? Well, the trucking industry is responsible for a large portion of the world's freight transport, and so it is under a lot of pressure to reduce its environmental impact. Loop Energy, a leading manufacturer of hydrogen fuel cells, has announced that its most recent system offers better fuel economy than conventional diesel engines at current prices. A truck can travel just over 179 kilometers, about 111 miles, on $100 worth of fuel when it is powered by their S1200 H2 system. Comparatively, the same amount of money would take a diesel truck just over 109 miles. This difference may seem small, but it can add up to significant savings for trucking companies that operate over long distances. In addition to being more fuel efficient, hydrogen fuel cells produce zero emissions, making them a cleaner option for the trucking industry. Next on our list, air transportation. Air is responsible for a significant portion of global greenhouse gas emissions. In an effort to reduce these emissions, High Point has come up with a plan that is said to give planes four times the range of conventional planes. The key to this long range is the use of ultralight carbon tanks from Gloyer, Taylor Laboratories. These tanks are able to hold far more liquid hydrogen than conventional tanks without making the plane heavier. This is a major breakthrough, as it could make hydrogen a practical power source for aerospace applications and slash operating costs by up to 50%, making this innovation in transportation a win-win. Here we are at number three in our countdown, as well as the last industry within commercial transportation. Let's dig into some train tech. Alstom's hydrogen train has reached a new milestone traveling 1,175 kilometers on a single hydrogen tank. The train was able to travel the distance without having to refuel and release only water vapor as an emission. Alstom is the first railway manufacturer in the world to offer a passenger train based on hydrogen technology. As battery electric vehicles become more popular for passenger vehicles, Large freight and long-haul truck makers are investing more into hydrogen-powered vehicles because batteries add too much weight and don't offer the same range versus refueling time advantages for heavy-duty applications. So if you're looking to ride the cutting edge of clean transportation, keep your eye on the Karadia I Lint. It's sure to be turning heads as it speeds along emitting nothing but water vapor. residential hydrogen tech is happening in the UK, in a town called Gateshead. The appliances in these two semi-detached houses are showcased running on 100% hydrogen in a safe and efficient way to combat climate change. Great strides are being made in many areas, but the way we heat our homes and businesses needs to change too if we're gonna meet the Climate Change Act target. In these homes, there's a series of appliances that run on hydrogen, including boilers for heating and hot water, stove and ovens for cooking, and a fire for cold winter days, are all making these homes comfy and green. By showcasing the prototype technology, it is hoped that people will be able to see that living with hydrogen is viable, practical, and safe. 
The end goal is for gas networks to be converted to 100% hydrogen, making it easily accessible for customers, wanting decarbonization with little disruption. Oh, and the last we heard, the Hydrogen Home Project is welcoming visitors, so make an appointment and report back. We would love to hear about your experience in the Hydrogen Home. Finally, we've reached the winner of top hydrogen things that happened in 2022. Volkswagen's new hydrogen car plans. It looks like Volkswagen is having a change of heart when it comes to hydrogen cars. The automaker has recently applied for a new fuel cell vehicle patent, which it will be developing along with the Kraftwerk Tubes company from Germany. This shows that Volkswagen does not intend to be left behind in the race to develop hydrogen cars. Until recently, Volkswagen had openly stated its preference for battery electric vehicles instead of focusing on a hydrogen car model among its zero emission offerings. In fact, the automaker's CEO, Herbert Diess, had publicly denied via a tweet the potential of using H2 as a fuel for passenger vehicles as recently as May 2022. However, it seems that Volkswagen is now committed to developing a new fuel cell hydrogen car that is intended to be substantially cheaper than the currently available hydrogen vehicles. They are aiming to roll out a model that will have a range of 2,000 kilometers per full tank. With this new development, it looks like hydrogen cars may finally start to take off. Who knows? Maybe in a few years we'll all be driving hydrogen cars. That's it for now, folks. But remember not to miss out on our free newly updated hydrogen ebook. For more of this H2 fun, hit subscribe and we'll see you soon.